Hello, everyone. I'm Rihanna Milne, and I have an amazing podcast to bring to you today, along with Christopher Bruce, divorce attorney, believe it or not. And this information is so cutting edge because Christopher specializes in helping women who have narcissistic, controlling, and very difficult husbands that are thinking of divorce and he helps them through every step of the process. So because I specialize in women going through a difficult transition in life or love, this is going to be a fascinating podcast, and I'm so happy to have you with me today, Chris. Rihanna, thank you so much for having me. I think we're gonna have a lot of uh, helpful material, and uh, it, it's stuff that I think is just gonna be great for uh, the people who need it. Absolutely. So I'm going to read a full introduction of Chris so I get it correct. Listen to this entire podcast. You're going to learn so much, whether you're contemplating divorce, going through it, about to interview an attorney, or have a great friend that's going through this. Chris is somebody you want to reach out to. So Christopher Bruce is a South Florida divorce attorney and an author of a number of divorce-related books for women. And by the way, I have all four books and they are fantastic. We're going to highlight the one, The Woman's Guide uh, Organized in Divorce, and the one that I love in particular on narcissistic partners today. Okay, and he gives these out free. So make sure you have a pen and paper so you can write down those addresses in the podcast. So over the years, Chris's practice has narrowed to primarily representing women who have a need to confront controlling, manipulative, narcissistic husbands in divorce cases that usually have a significant financial component or an important matter involving children. So again, this is my ideal clients going through this. Chris was born and raised in Palm Beach County, Florida, and returned to the area to start his law practice after completing his accounting and legal education. While studying to pass the Florida bar, Chris was lucky enough to meet his wife, Ashley, who's also an attorney, and together they are now the proud parents of two young children. Chris's law firm, the Bruce Law Firm, is limited to representing clients in contested divorce and child custody matters. The firm's main office is located off Palm Beach Lakes Boulevard, 1601 Forum Place in Palm Beach County, and he also works with people in Martin and Brown counties. So welcome again, Chris. I'd love Rihanna, to thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, it's it's going to be a lot of fun and very useful stuff. Absolutely. I would like to just read from your introduction on the book here. Um, and this book is a fast read and it's fascinating. His favorite clients are women who have made the decision to divorce a controlling, manipulative, or narcissistic husband, women who are not considering divorce due to desire for money or lust. They really seek to be a right to be happy be their own person, and to avoid the sometimes everyday experience of being devalued despite their efforts to be a caring partner, parent, and person. And that is so beautiful. That really touched the, touches the heart of many women that I work with. Well, thank you. And I think we, uh, we both dedicate ourselves to helping uh, women in just uh, toxic positions uh, move on to a happier place in their life. And it's what keeps, keeps me going as an attorney, but yeah. you know, about uh, me, just uh, I think I'd be doing everybody a disservice if uh, we didn't give an introduction on uh, you. Um, Rihanna Milne is a certified and global life, dating, and relationship coach, a number one best-selling author, a life and dating coach for the new docu-series, Radical Dating, Finding Lasting Love Over 40, a, a great thing to help out uh, my client base. Mm -hmm. And she's also formerly hosted the TV show Lessons in Life and Love. She's an educational speaker. Uh, she's a licensed mental health counselor and certified trauma and addiction professional for over 18 years in the Delray Beach, Florida area. And uh, now she offers online virtual coaching courses for singles and couples at www.lifeandlovetrainingacademy.com. And uh, I'm not done yet. In addition to being a great female entrepreneur, Rihanna has a free app, which I'll have to say is fantastic. Uh, it's called My Relationship Coach. That's the name of the app. And the app offers many videos and articles for her five-star uh, rated books, uh, those being Love Beyond Your Dreams, Break Free of Toxic Relationships to Have the Love You Deserve, and Live Beyond Your Dreams, From Fear and Doubt to Personal Power, Purpose, and Success. Uh, the book addresses life transitions, personal transformation, and relationships with yourself and others. They're both 
great reads, just the kind of stuff that if you're feeling down in your life and your relationship and don't know how to move forward, it's, it's the exact stuff you need to be reading. Uh, Rihanna's Facebook fan page is Coach Rihanna Milne, and her website is RihannaMilne.com. That's R-I-A-N-A-M-I-L-N-E.com. It's a, a heck of an introduction, and I'm not even touching on the uh, <laughs> Uh, honestly, Chris, I mean, we were meant to know each other, you know, <laughs> our clients are like that we really need to support the type of clients, ladies that we have that are so special and going through such a difficult time. So uh, this is great. Let's get right to it. Well, it's, uh, why don't you, you start just by uh, telling us a little bit more about your work as a life, love and relationship coach and uh, how you came into it. What, what made sure. it gives you the passion in this area? Well, I've been a psychotherapist for 18 years in private practice. And once I found out about the coaching model in 2008, it was actually exactly what I wanted to do to give more valuable time and support to my clients exactly when they needed it. So as a certified life dating and relationship coach, my VIP clients who work one-on-one -on -one with me, they can email me at any time. They can text me. We work virtually if they're on a trip or we can work, you know, in person if they're in my area. But like my furthest client right now is in Lebanon. So wow. they get the amazing results, even if it's totally by Skype, but it's highly supportive. And I felt as a therapist, I was getting very frustrated seeing somebody who really needed support, but only once a week for 45 minutes in my yeah. practice. And so much goes on in seven days that they can't reach out to me according to therapy laws. Uh, and ethics that they can't reach me. And so I thought therapy was doing a huge disservice to the clients that really needed me, our ideal clients, and that they really needed the support through the most difficult times. So my coaching program allows that. I focus on people that have had past childhood trauma, dating, or relationship trauma, because to transition after that, um, sometimes I come in, you know, trying to get back out there and date, but they have low confidence, low self-esteem. They're, they're feeling more needy or more frightful of the experience because they went through so much trauma in their marriages or in a prior dating relationship. So that is my focus area. And this is why I'm also a clinical trauma professional to help the women understand why they do what they do and what has happened in their relationship so they can come back out and date from a position of strength and confidence. I think your, your approach is unique. I, I know a lot of uh, just therapists in the area, but uh, you're, you're one of the few that I, I think, well, really the only I've met that, you know, sticks to the, the coaching technique. It's really not as much uh, therapy as it is uh, coaching. And I think that's just one of the many ways that uh, you stand out in this field. I actually kind of wear all three hats because as a yeah. therapist, I'm looking at the past childhood traumas that made them choose a toxic man in the first place. It's very unconscious behaviors that came from the dynamics of their family or their upbringing. So that's kind of the psychology hat. And the trauma professional, you know, helps them through that transition of understanding consciously why they do what they do unconsciously and making the unconscious conscious. And then the coach takes them from where they are right now and propels them forwards into the new life that they envision, helping them with goal setting and reaching their dreams along that path. I had a client just finished and she goes, I'm looking back to where I started because we do goals when you're started. Yeah. Rihanna, everything is like 90, 92%. I'm in my dream house. I was living in an apartment, married to a toxic guy who treated her horrendously, had a child involved with this mix. All that is done. You know, and now she's out there dating very powerfully. Her career has really grown are and make them extremely empowered people to feel the best that they can be. I love what I do. Just like you said, you love helping ladies like this. Well, it's uh, that that's great to hear. And it, it's it, to do good. You really need a purpose and a passion. And it sounds like uh, you have that. And I, I guess as it gets into the, the people we help, um, you know, when you um, meet people, um, I mean, what are, what are the signs that uh, they might be in a toxic uh, re relationship uh, with their uh, spouse? Maybe help, help people understand that because I'm not sure everybody uh, really knows how to define, um, you know, that they're in, you know, in a toxic relationship to begin with. Yes. I know one way you found me, you read my article, the help this relationship is making me sick. And yeah. that's exactly what you feel like. You feel sick emotionally and physically. So a lot of women present with headaches, stomach aches, 
either they can't sleep because they're so anxious or they sleep too much because they're depressed. Ongoing anxiety is very typical of my clients. Just chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia is, uh, comes into the body. It's like a virus because of stress over time. Um, weight gain or loss, you cannot lose weight because your cortisol levels are so high because of the stress. Even though you're eating well and exercising, you're like, why can't I lose this weight? Because the cortisol is keeping it in your body. Blood pressure is up. So what I do, you know, we basically call it disease. And unfortunately, if you stay in a toxic relationship too long, the, the dis-ease of your situation becomes disease of the body. So, you know, this is when, you know, stress leads to our most common diseases. So it's really important you protect yourself and your life and get out of a toxic relationship if you feel you've done everything in your power to try and change this. Now, just, um, you know, what, what are the types of things that uh, the people you help um, in these toxic relationships are experiencing? Are they, are they put down? Are they ignored? Is it a little bit of the above? I mean, what, what yeah, you- it, there's, there's um, different types of abuses. There's verbal abuse, even um, passive aggressive, where they don't talk to you for a couple of hours to several days. There's the emotional abuse where they make you feel not good enough. And I have this checklist that I give out to any of your listeners or on the podcast, you know, am I in an emotionally abusive relationship? Yeah. Of course, physical abuse. Most people are aware of that. Um, And then there's financial abuse where they hold or hoard money and don't let you know the real financial situation. There is sexual abuse where they're very demanding and want sex every time, which goes along with that powerful, egotistical, narcissistic men (laughs) who, you know, is usually sex addicted. Um, So there's different types of abuses. And then I talk about the cycle of abuse. A lot of times this man does not want divorce as long as he can run his life exactly as he wants it. So there'll be this cycle, which we call the cycle of violence or the cycle of, you know, abuse, where there's a period of flowers and making up and some dates and then, you know, then the anger slips in again and you feel like you're yeah. walking on eggshells. Is he going to be in a good mood today? Am I going to go home to someone angry and moody? You know, am I going to have a put down? And just when you're starting to feel better about things, this is when he'll start again, the manipulative control. So you hang in there for these little pieces of the good times, which is about maybe 10 or 15 percent. And when yeah. they're good, they're great. But when they're bad, they're horrid, <laughs> you know? So the rest of the time it, you're in that toxic cycle of anxiety. And the best way to describe it is that walking on eggshells feeling. Uh, that's, uh, you know, I, I hear so many people who talk about exactly, you know, that phrase is just, they never know what to expect. And when you, when you go through each day with that uh, feeling, it just makes you so anxious. And it's yes. almost impossible to enjoy life. And that, that's, that's, I think, one of the worst parts about these relationships, just from what I see. Yes, absolutely. The anxiety but, uh, is really high. So I hear you've written a little bit of a, a book, uh, actually a, a best-selling book on breaking free of these toxic relationships. So I think you'd probably be a, a pretty good person to ask uh, this question to, and it's a question a lot of my clients ask me when they meet me. And um, you know, can these toxic relationships be fixed? A, a lot of a lot of uh, women they they they, they want to naturally try to fix problems, not just you know move on from them. But I mean, what, what's your take on that? Can we fix these types of um, people and, and how they? Yeah. Make- well, you know, there's there's 19 different personality types described in this book, just so you know what the cover mm-hmm. looks like, Love Beyond Your Dreams. And you're tra- describing narcissistic, which is one of them. But I also talk about yeah. borderline personality types and the sociopath. And if they're really full-blown sociopath, it's almost impossible to change them. That's well documented. Someone who is borderline usually comes from severe childhood trauma, which is my specialty niche. And if there is someone that really wants help in this, yes, I have transformed their lives. If they're borderline, bipolar, narcissistic, yes. But they have got to want it. They can't be forced into the coaching or therapy session because this is a person that's halfway out the door. So I say, okay, the VIP coaching for couples is a six-month process. Let's see what they do in six months. And then this way you can at least tell your children we've tried everything and we did a six month intensive coaching program, didn't work out between mom and dad. And if that's the case, and at least I coached the couple how to 
separate and as friends and have a more friendly divorce. So it's not impacting the children because childhood trauma does go through the, the generations. But there are 10 childhood traumas and your people can listen to those tapes on my YouTube channel, Rihanna Milner, because I talk a lot about that. But um, yeah. that's for a whole nother tape. But I work with that. And this is where the trauma professional and the psychotherapist comes into play in the coaching. So if there's a client that really wants it, yes, I've seen profound changes. If it's somebody that's coerced into coaching or therapy, no, they've got to show up and want it. I'm always, you know, I'm always skeptical when I, I hear, you know, my clients with people who interview me and they think that maybe if they try one last time, their husband, who I think has a obvious personality type disorder, um, I, I just have my doubts that they'll, they'll ever try again. But I, I think for people who, are on the fence. Um, there's there's no harm in uh, trying one last time to see if you can fix it. But uh, just I, I think just from my end, uh, people need to be realistic and understand that yeah. their husband's probably never going to change. And it's you know just I don't I don't think part of uh, his um, you know makeup. He's just almost like his personality uh, keeps him from even going to want the help. But it's worth a shot. Yeah, I had a couple and Marie came to me because she wanted to divorce her husband and start in life coaching as a new single woman. But she was in her 70s. She was 73 and he was 78. And they've been married over 40 years. I'm like, did you try absolutely everything? I said, because it's not easy to move forward as a 73 year old woman. So I said, let's start coaching with you and let's see if Ken comes in because at this time they're still married. She didn't file for divorce. And he, she went home with the paperwork. He said, no, I don't want to do it. It's you. It's you. And I said, well, let's start with you. So eventually he picked up the love book and he's reading the front section and he calls me out of the blue. He goes, well, I think I need to come see you because I started reading your book and I have about six of those things in that part of your book. And I guess I am wow. realizing I'm a big part of the problem. That was what I needed to get him in the door. And by then, Marie was already changing. She was becoming confident. She was dressing sexier herself. She ignored when he had moods and she goes, I'm going to go take a drive, whatever the techniques I told her to do. So he saw her changing and she was said she wanted a divorce. She had filed. So she was almost out the door. And that's wow. when these guys sometimes have that enlightening situation. So she was always in touch with her attorney. You know, she paid the retainer. She was in touch with him. She, she kept him posted what was going on. And um, long story short, he did come in. He did the rest of the course with her. They moved into a beautiful community. They're very happy. They have found love again. They traveled together. So there was dramatic change on both parts, and she needed to see her part. And I know you speak about that in your book as well. You know, the women have to really look at what is my part of making this yeah. relationship and marriage fail. You, you have to, at least as I see it, you, ha you have to be doing that or sometimes you're ignoring half the problem, especially if you're looking to try to, to fix it. And I mean, therapy and, and coaching is your purview. I, I look at it more as a, a person who has to uh, deal with the problems, but almost all of the time, it's, it's, it's both people. Who, it takes two. And there's two yeah. sides of every story. I offer a free coaching session to couples on Zoom, but they both have to fill out paperwork. Now, if only one fills it out and I'll have to chase the other person for the paperwork, that's a clear sign that the other person isn't ready. You know yeah, what I mean? So it's right. like, come on, if you can't commit to a free session on Zoom to meet with me, what's going on? And this is already telling the woman a lot right then and there. I think you got it right there when they say, uh, go to therapy to fix yourself. You're the problem. Um, that's probably a... Pretty exactly. You know, it kind of leads me, I, I guess, to you know the next question here, and that's for you know the, the people out there who are listening to this or watching this and thinking to themselves, well, I, I think you know I might be in one of these toxic relationships, or my husband might be one of these controlling, manipulative uh, type people. Um, where do they start? How, how how do you even begin the process of? moving on from, you know, one of these relationships. I, the one the constant I know is it's intimidating. So where do you even begin? Yes. Um, this is when the women do come to me and this is when they start in singles coaching. And the choice is either to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, which I call my VIP program where they have full text and uh, email access to me when things come up, which is perfect for a woman going through divorce 
or they can get into the online group coaching with other single women. Most have had come from dating, relationship, or childhood trauma. So they're very supportive and they get all the education on the platform at the Life and Love Training Academy.com. All the education comes to them. And then I do a group class right on Zoom and then we all see each other and they come and they each get like 15 minutes of individual coaching in front of the class because their questions help so many others. Yeah. So that group coaching dynamic is really fantastic. But if they're in the VIP program, they get the group coaching for free. So they can sit in on the group and, and get that benefit, but they still get all the materials from me sent to them in a, in a goodie box, you know, whatever address they want me to send it to. And then we can start. And those sessions are by appointment. So for the busy yeah. professional woman, sometimes that's better for them to do VIP one-on-one -on -one and then just sit and monitor the class. And if they miss the class, they get the tape sent to them. So they still get the information. Okay. And, you know, for, for these women, I, I mean, at least a lot of um, you know, them seem to be asking me usually indirectly because, you know, I'm a, I'm a divorce lawyer. Um, but I mean, a lot of them seem to be concerned about, are they even going to be able to find somebody who's, you know, emotionally happy and, and healthy, you know, somebody that can really be a person to share, you know, a, a great life with. And they don't, they don't even know where to start. Sometimes these, That's uh, true. so just beaten down in their their networks are so narrow that they don't even know where to begin. I mean, is there a method yes. of getting out of that? Many women in these uh, relationships are kept down by the men. The men are trying to really control them and take them away from their friends and family, as you also write brilliantly in your books. You're, you really are on the pulse of this, Chris. You really got it well described. So um, that is true. And, and really during the holiday season right now, um, yeah. I have a ladies' night coaching and cocktails for single professional women to network, to support each other in their businesses. So they're bringing business cards and emotionally through the holidays and to make new friends. So it's like a perfect opportunity to come out and get that emotional and business support. Uh, you can just write me at Rihanna Milne at Gmail to get details on that. But it's December 19th, January 2nd, which we're making New Year's Eve goals. Uh, January 23rd, and then right before Valentine's Day, February 6th. So it will lead you up to getting new confidence to find that amazing partner. And then I, if you are interested in talking to me one-on-one, -on -one, I offer a free coaching strategy session. Just get that at rihannamilne.com on my website. Fill out a form. Tell me a little bit about your story, where you are right now. I'll reach out and offer you one hour of time with me to see where the trauma lies, where you are, and how I can best help you move forward. Well, that so. sounds like, you know, for the people listening to this, I mean, you got to take advantage of that. I mean, it's, yeah. it's one hour for, for free. And I mean, I'll just say just in our, our talk and getting ready for this, I, I felt inspired to go conquer the, <laughs> the I think I joked with you, you know, we needed to make another appointment for the same time next week. I mean, it's, uh, it, it, there's, you're not even there's no not even an obligation you're not paying anything for one of these um, consultation sessions I think people need to take yeah it's a $500 value and I work with you one-on-one -on -one and nobody else sees your story it's all private it's all personal um, and I think it would be really helpful a lot of people learn so much in that one hour about where they are and about themselves and where did the trauma come from initially that led them to choose this kind of toxic partner and what can they do differently so it doesn't happen again that's really important. But Chris, I want to start getting into you now. Let's start <laughs> questioning you and um, tell me a little bit more about you. I understand from several of your books that you take a special interest in helping women move on from these types of toxic relationships and the controlling husbands. So what made you want to develop your law practice to helping these types of ladies? You know, I, I think what, what did it for me is I, I took a, a good hard look at the people I enjoy working with the most and in Divorce work, it's sometimes upsetting stuff to deal with on a daily basis as a professional. And, you know, yes, I'm, I'm paid to do this and, you know, it's just part of my job. But, you know, after a while, if you don't feel like, at least for me, that you're making a difference in people's lives, it, it becomes a lot harder to get motivated every day and, you know, put on the suit, tie the tie and everything else. And when I really thought about the clients I enjoyed working with the most, it was these women that are looking to move on from these emotionally abusive most times relationships because they see it as a journey and I see it as making their lives better. I know that at the end of the day, once I've helped them uh, get through the divorce process, they're on their path to mm -hmm. 
life. And that makes me feel like I'm making a difference with my law practice. It's more than just uh, dividing uh, people's um, you know, property and getting them a paper that says they're divorced. And uh, that's, that's what keeps me going. That's excellent. Being through divorce myself, first of all, you feel very vulnerable. And second, to really find an attorney that gets you and what you're going through and especially be a male, it's a rare yeah. find. It's like, oh my God, I have to know you. Uh, so I can yeah. refer my ladies to you. I wish you did this globally. And we talked about that because I think it's <laughs> phenomenal to help my women around the world. But um, women are, you know, feeling at their worst and very scared. And like we said, there's a low support system at this time. So they really do want to be able to count on their attorney and see that they get that emotional piece that they're going through during their divorce. So that's fabulous. From your perspective as an attorney, how should someone go about divorcing a spouse who is in a toxic relationship? It doesn't happen easier or overnight, but most um, you know, big transitions in life own. There's a lot of things that, I, that need to happen you know, early on before lawyers are, are ever contacted. And this is, I think, where you come in a lot, uh, but really it's, it's almost 95% uh, preparation, 5% execution with the actual legal work if you really want it to be successful uh, for you. And I define you know, a successful divorce as one that uh, not just uh, dissolves your marriage, but puts you on a, a path to the, the better life that you desire and deserve to be living. And for most women, a lot of it starts with uh, therapy coaching and developing a vision of what they want in their future life. I, I tell my clients the need to define their ideal life. And it, it's kind of a, you know, what do you want your life to be like? Uh, who are your friends going to be? What are you going to do? How is your life different than it is now? And sometimes it's a you know, hard task to imagine that when you walk on eggshells every day and you're constantly beaten down, but you, you can you can start with it. And if, if you feel like it's impossible to you know, define what you want, that's where you know, working with you comes in. Yeah, and, so you're so, defining the coaching yeah. purpose and, and uh, vision. We do that for everyone. You're exactly right. That is a coaching process. So that's phenomenal that you see that, that you know about that. Yeah, and you know, you pretty much have to um, know where you're going if, if you want to know how to get there. And it sounds kind of philosophical and, you know, maybe like a bunch of psycho babble. But if you don't know what you want after the divorce, you don't want your life to be like, it's hard for uh, you to know uh, what to tell me. Um, and it's harder for me to help you get your goals in the divorce process. So it's, it's a really good, that's where it all starts. You got to have a vision and a purpose. Yes, and psychologically, it helps for you to hold on to that dream as you're going through the difficult transition. It helps you to get through, knowing where you're going. And when you're working with a coach during that time, you know, I help you stay focused on the here and now and the near future. You've got the support during what's difficult, and you've got the support to believe in your dream and your new goals. You got to do, and then you, you'll feel like you're on a, a journey, and you're going to have a purpose, and, um, you know, I'll just be doing the legal work in the background. Yeah. How important is it, Chris, for the spouse looking to leave the relationship to understand their role in getting into the relationship during the divorce process? I know we touched on that a little bit, but was there anything else you wanted to add to that? I think it's key, and it's, you know, if anything, understanding that you're part of the problem, you're part of the reason that you're an emotionally, in an emotionally abusive relationship is critical, if only for realizing that if you made the decisions that got you into the spot that you're in you can also make the decisions that get you out of it the choice to change is yours and when you understand that it wasn't just you to get that got you to where you are uh, you get the confidence to understand that um, you know you can get yourself out of it too yeah yeah understanding why you do what we do is kind of how I phrase it as well and then making those unconscious choices now conscious so that you choose better in your future. Uh, well, that's, yeah, and it, it's, it's even more important for the, for the next time around. I mean, you need to understand how you got to where you know, you're at so that you don't repeat the whole thing. It'd be such a shame to go through really what can be a, a transformative, powerfully positive event in your life only to you know, meet another person and get into another one. Yeah, side. this tends What's to be a cycle for many people until they understand what they're doing wrong, for sure. Exactly. So once your client has the vision and the purpose, what comes next? 
Well, uh, I think it, it's it's a good time to start getting organized for the divorce process. And I, I, one thing, you know, I, I think it's worth uh, pointing out, this does not start with uh, telling your husband your, your plans for uh, ch your life trans transformation in the future. Um, basically, keep quiet, I think, is what Very comes important. Yeah, if a, a lot of uh, women married to the type of uh, man we're discussing, um, the, the male is uh, so overconfident that their wife will uh, never seek to move on that uh, they don't understand that the divorce might be coming. But if they're tipped off and they think the divorce is imminent, uh, then it becomes uh, a much harder process than it needs to be. Think of you know what your husband's done to the other people who've tried to cross him in life and in business, and uh, you don't need that happening in uh, your divorce uh, when you go through. Yes, these types of men are brilliant at manipulation and they're going to try and schmooze you and romance you and they buy you new jewelry or whatever to try and keep the peace or let's just do this together and save the money. Then we have more to split, you know, the whole nine yards. You hear all these stories. So for sure, I tell women, always get your own divorce. I don't care if you think there's not much to split, do it anyway. Um, and you have to keep quiet also for safety reasons. Well, exactly. And, you know, I just finished up a divorce that was uh, overly complex. And, you know, the, the person uh, told their spouse that they were thinking about divorce and, you know, the person got them to reconcile. And, you know, right after they reconciled, 49% of the company goes to someone else. And I mean, it was a multi <laughs> enterprise and it made her divorce when it happened. A, uh, you know, a knockdown drag out affair that, that cost more money and was incredibly stressful than it would have been if uh, she just kept her, her lips shut. Um, but it's uh, easier said than done sometimes, but uh, definitely got to stay quiet. And, you know, and I guess another thing to your, your question is, is you need to get organized. I think and this starts um, before you even go see an attorney. You need to get organized, figure out what you want out of the divorce. And I've got a whole book on that. It's uh, at www. This is real easy to remember. Getorganizedfordivorce.com. And uh, it's a woman's guide to being organized for divorce. And if you read the book, it pretty much gives you the, the basics, but it starts with you know, keeping your, you know, getting a secure email address. Many people don't have that, getting your passwords changed and starting to collect as much of the information about your, um, you know, finances as you can. Sometimes yeah. you can't get much because your husband holds it hostage, uh, but get what you can and start kind of forming what you want to talk to you know, an attorney about uh, down the line and, and do that before you go talk to an attorney. Right. You Write your questions down. And uh, what would you, what advice do you have on choosing an attorney? Cause I always say, go talk to someone before you file, you know, meet somebody. What are some of the criteria? That I, I think you need to, you need to do it carefully. Um, you need to get an attorney who, you know, understands if you're, if you're in an abusive type relationship, understands, the stuff we're talking about you know, right now, and I, I'm not saying you have to go out and hire me. There's, there's some really excellent attorneys that understand the dynamics of you know, dealing with somebody with a personality disorder, and you have to be confident to take your case to court because the reality of it is, sadly, sadly with some of these men, um, they make you go to court to finish things off. Not somebody that uh, basically does exclusively family law, don't take a chance with somebody who only dabbles in divorce work, and uh, somebody who understands the type of husband that you have a financial background is usually a really good idea and uh, you have to be comfortable with them right? yeah you should go and i've got a book on this it's all divorce lawyers.com it, it kind of lays out you know how to hire a divorce lawyer and work with one if you've never interviewed lawyers before but i i'd at least interview two or three um sit down in the room with her and if, you know if you feel like you're not being heard and you don't have a report at the initial meeting, it's, it's, it's probably going to be what it's like, um, you know, during your divorce case. And you need to yeah. have a it's one uh, thing to know the law. It's another thing to feel connected to your attorney because you're going to need that support and that you really feel that they get you and that they're ready to work with you, not only professionally, but as that whole person, you know, emotionally that they understand that they're there for you and they're doing such important work during that time. Exactly. And if not comfortable in the beginning, it's, it's, it's just not the right person for you. Interview. Exactly. You know, uh, Chris, what, and, and what should people in toxic relationships expect when it comes to how their divorce plays out? What do you think should, will happen? Can you describe you know, realistically? 
Yeah, it's it's they should expect it's it's not usually going to be easy, and they're going to see in their their spouse a ramping up of all of their worst qualities. If they were intimidated during the marriage, um, that's it's it's going to happen more with the divorce. If the finances are always a secret, uh, you know the spouse is going to do that more, and there's no uh, sugarcoating that. You can't expect uh, your spouse to wake up. Um, and play nice, be on board with your new vision for your future where you take half the money and run. It just doesn't, those people don't work like that. Uh, so you exactly. have to understand that going in, that's why being prepared, uh, uh, we said earlier, 95% of this is preparation. Being as prepared as you can be, having an attorney that can help you stand up to the person and not mentioning anything to your spouse so that when your lawyer starts the process. They can do it with a strategy that's designed to put as much um, yep. pressure on in the right places so that hopefully your spouse has no choice other than to do what the law says they need to do as soon as possible. But it's not going to all of a sudden wake up and uh, they're going to be a different person and easy when they're uh, a difficult person when, when, when there is no divorce. And that's why to get your coach early on is so important. So you feel empowered and strong and you vent to me, the coach, you don't vent to your husband. You know, it's easier to keep it secret when you have somebody supporting you through the process. And maybe you can't talk to the attorney all the time, but with the coaching model, you can reach out to me through email and text when something's going on immediately. And that is the beauty of coaching. So Chris, give my and your listeners, please, all the information on where to find you, how to get your books again, because those are so valuable. I want to make sure that they, they wrote that down. Wow. Oh, thank you very much. Well, um, the, the easiest uh, way to find me, it's an uh, easy to remember website that forwards to everything. And it's divorceinformationbooks.com, divorceinformationbooks.com. And that takes you to a spot on my firm's website uh, to where you can get any of the, uh, the books that I've written uh, for free instant download. And you put in your email address and you also get a chance uh, if you, you press the right series buttons and forms that we'll mail you all the books um, in the mail or if you're local and are afraid of, um, you know, your husband finding out about things, yeah. we'll package and pick up right here in the office. And uh, also there you'll uh, be have a link for my website, uh, my office number, which you're welcome to call anytime is 561-810-0170. That's 561-810-0170. I, I don't have quite Facebook following uh, that you have. I'm working on it, but um, Bruce Law Firm's also on uh, Facebook as well. Good. Very good. And, and again, uh, if your ladies need support, they can reach out to me at rihannamilne.com. That's the website where you will find free chapter downloads of both Love Beyond Your Dreams, Break Free of Toxic Relationships to Have the Love You Deserve, and Live Beyond Your Dreams, which takes you from fear and doubt to personal power, purpose, and success. It's all about the mindset you need to develop to get through a difficult transformation. And the book about love will definitely help you to choose better the next time. And then just on uh, the contact me form, it's a pop-up. Just contact me, tell me what you're going for. Please tell me that you heard me on this podcast and um, you will get a special um, promotional rate if you decide to go through coaching with me. I don't know if I lost Chris. Chris, are you still there? I'm here. Okay. All right. Great. Your vision, your video has frozen on your side, but I'm glad I, we can still hear you. For your clients is to reach out at me. My phone is 201-281-7887 or simply email me at rihannamilne at gmail.com because I don't pick up, of course, if I'm doing my sessions. But either way, call me or reach out to me on email, and I will see how I can help you best. Of course, the app is free to download. It's my relationship yeah, coach and my two YouTube page, Rihanna Milne, also has a ton of videos that could be helpful to you during this time. Hey, I want to say thank you for being with us during this podcast. Christopher Bruce, Bruce Law Firm. Chris, thank you so much for being my guest and coming on and sharing your wisdoms and make sure you get this collection of books from Chris. They're very well done, very fast and easy reads, but so full of information that's important for you to receive. Rihanna, it's uh, been an absolute pleasure to be involved with this. And I think uh, you have so much that you make available uh, for everyone out there, especially with the app, uh, your books. And I think anyone listening to this, uh, the first thing they should do before they're 
contacting any lawyer. Um, you know, they need, need to have that vision together. And I think that starts with uh, talking to you and uh, you have that consultation for free. It's really um, nothing to lose. People need to do that. Thank you. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. You need help. Reach out to Chris or I. We're here for you. God bless and have an amazing holiday and a beautiful new year.